we've also put a lot of uh, effort into the software and we include uh, an app with the system that you can use to set up and make sure that it runs um, effectively in your environment. So this has got a number of different features. Um, we make it easy to calibrate the cameras. We have the adjustable detection sensitivity as I showed down the 2D before. And then you can also do pre uh, video preview and video download. So for example, if there is an incident such as a, a pedestrian comes too close to the vehicle, um, that will be captured, sort of captured on the video and then you can access that from the app and then later on it can go up into the cloud. And the, the app does support both Android and um, uh, iPhone as well. The next big initiative we're, we're conducting is the integration of the system with what we call the Mobile 360 WorkX Connect Cloud. And what we're trying to do here is to bring together three types of data. You've got the vehicle data, you've got the driver data, and then when this comes together, it gives management a bird's eye view of exactly what's happening within the warehouse. On the vehicle side, you'll know how much is being used and who's using it. Another feature we've added in is automatic inspection. So when the driver comes in the morning, um, the app, the first thing the system tells them to do is to carry out an inspection of the uh, forklift before it goes into operation. First of all, we can authenticate the driver using uh, a QR code or, or also using facial recognition. Then of course the driver gets alerts for pedestrian and for pedestrian detection and also for the driver safety. And then we can start to measure the driver productivity as well. So what this enables management to do is to see how safe are the operations where, for example, are pedestrian detection incidents taking place? What about the drivers? Which ones are recording the highest number of alerts? And if so, you can then dig into why. Second is looking at the efficiency. As I mentioned, driver productivity, also um, vehicle utilization. And finally, sort of looking at the employees themselves and learning more about the kind of training, the kind of uh, guidance they may need to improve, the, in, improve their working environment. So here's just an overview of the, the dashboard. This is, um, it gives you a very quick view of how many vehicles you have, what's the vehicle usage rate, how many alerts are there being, look at the drivers, etc. So that gives you a, um, a very quick overview of what's happening. Then you can dig deeper um, into the cloud at different levels of granularity um, to find out much more about what's happening really on the ground. So for example, you can look at usage, you can look at reliability, you can look at inspection. Inspection statistics go into a great level of detail in terms of operational time, the, the critical item fail, reliability, etc. And then there is an inspection report. Now what we've done with the report is that um, we've based it on OSHA guidelines from the US, but this can be very easily customized to meet your own requirements. Now as I mentioned earlier, that's the default setting when the machine goes, the system goes on in the morning, is that that report has to be filled in. So it helps enable much more efficient and more comprehensive maintenance records. So here's an example of how you can look beyond the statistics to analyze a particular incident that's happened in the warehouse. Video clips of pedestrian detection or smartphone alerts um, can be retrieved from the system. And then you can use them as an opportunity, for example, to analyze the cause of an accident or a near miss. Also look at, at certain aspects of driver behavior that needs to be addressed. This can be very cost effective when you're looking at uh, an accident claim, for example, is that you have clear evidence of what happened for insurance purposes or in worst case, legal issues. So what we see with the cloud has got huge potential to unleash the data for many years you've never actually been able to collect. For the first time, you can see exactly what happened at an incident. You can identify where most of the incidents happen. And then maybe perhaps you can change your layout or your operational procedures to avoid that, to make sure that doesn't happen in the future. You can also use the data to look at issues like welfare and morale. If they're looking tired or stressed, perhaps there are ways that you can, you can uh, deal with that and help them face up to those challenges. So we're very excited about the potential of 
the Connect Cloud for giving warehouse management a much clearer and more granular picture of exactly what is happening at the ground level of their operations.